Hey, I'm Josh Cobb. I'm Madeline Donahue, and we're going to build a light table. We're going to be building a light table out of these pieces for the side frames along the outside edge, and this piece of plywood on the bottom. So the first thing I did is measured the frame pieces to be uh, 30 inches this way. So we'll have 30 inches like that from here to there. And then the inside is 22 and 3 eighths. So I measured these out already and marked them on our boards. We'll cut them out of these separate boards and then we'll have our four frame pieces. Next thing I'm going to do is measure out 30 inches from this side, which we'll roughly cut with a handsaw. We're going to cut four outer edges for the frame and light box. Um, we are starting with this one by eight. And I've lined up the blade with the outer edge of the pencil line. Um, I'm not clamping it down, I'm taking a chance, <laughs> hoping I won't lose a finger. Okay, so... Here we go! Cut one. Here we go with cut number two. sort of dry fitting these together just to make sure that we cut the pieces the right size. And one thing to remember is that sometimes when you get boards from the store, they're not cut exactly perfectly. So that's why we took our measurement from the insides of these two pieces for this piece so that we know that we're going to be flush on the outsides. So what we did here is we're using a pocket hole jig to drill these holes here. And what it allows you to do is to drill from the inside of the frame down into these pieces, which gives you a nice tight fit, but you don't end up with screw holes on the outside. And you can see my two mistakes right here, so just disregard those. <laughs> Looking good. Okay. That's pretty damn close. So now we have the frame that's going to go around our lights. For the light table, you want to use four two-foot fluorescent bulbs and we found um, these lights, which um, will have two bulbs fit onto each strip, so we only need two strips. Um, the next step is to figure out where you'd like them to be on the base. Um, it's a good idea to have them spaced wide enough apart so that the light will distribute around the screen in an even way. You don't want to have them too close together in the middle and you don't want to have them too far apart on the outsides. So um, we're going to put them about here and then measure to make sure that they're equally distanced from each other. So the next step is I'm going to paint the um, inside of the light box here and the base of the light box there with white, um, white paint just so that it's more reflective when the light goes on. Um, also, this stuff is really toxic. So I'm going to turn the fan on. And are you using a horsehair, genuine horsehair brush? I have, I uh, think it's synthetic. I have no idea. So it's a good idea to use a genuine horsehair brush. <laughs> so at this point we flipped the light box over um, and put the base on top so that we can screw it into the bottom of the light table. So we're just going to start in the corners to get the initial thing all set and then we'll add some more screws around the outside. We're also going to use a countersink bit so that our screws, which have a flat head, can fit in flush and that way there's nothing protruding on the bottom side. There we go, first screw in. Now we're putting some feet on the base. So here is the somewhat finished base for the light table. Lights are going to go inside here and then we're going to cover it in glass. Now we're putting the light fixtures into the box and they just fit right over the bolts. I'm going to fasten them on with a couple of things 
Um, these are large washers to lock them into the fixture. Next is a lock washer. And these will kind of grip onto the nut and onto the other washer. And now, we are wiring the fixtures so that um, the light table can plug into the wall and so we can have a switch to use to turn it off and on. It's really easy to do this. That's not true. You're supposed it was to so laugh. hard. Ah! Now we're putting the bulbs in. Now we're going to plug it in to see if it works. Yay! Awesome. Woo! At this point we have both light or all four light bulbs in and we're putting um, double side tape around the frame of the box to adhere the glass to the box. Okay, so now we're laying the glass on top of the tape. To finish the light table we're lining the edges of the glass with um, gaffer's tape to connect it to the wooden base and the glass and also to keep the edge of the glass from being sharp on all four sides. Now it's all finished. Woo! Light table.